to Seanman Sanjay from 104 in Ireland. It's great to talk to you both. And um, congratulations, Viking Valhalla, about to hit our screens very soon. So I suppose we'll start off with how you got involved with this, because this show was an international phenomenon, the six seasons of Vikings. So were you fans of the show? Like, how did you get involved? And were you excited once you saw the script? Um, we might start with Bradley, maybe. Yeah, very excited um, when you get the call to say that, uh, you know, there's a, even the slightest possibility <laughs> that you might be... Um, <laughs> in, in um, a new show um, uh, like this and uh, thoroughly enjoyed the process of uh, auditioning and going over to Ireland and, and meeting some of the other prospective cast and, and obviously meeting Jeb um, and the creative team behind it. And then obviously to have been cast and, um, yeah. you know, to get the opportunity to be in such a, uh, <coughs> A f fantastic um, show such as this has just been a it's just been a dream come true. And, and it's true, Johannes. I mean, it's it's filmed in Ireland, which like it's usually we're talking about Hollywood or somewhere like land like that. But it's great. Everybody was on our shores here to do this. So did you enjoy your time in Ireland? Because it must have been a bit of a bubble because this is during COVID time. So there must have been a lot of time spent among the cast. Imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was very much of a bubble because usually on a TV show or any project, you you go back and forth. If you have a week off, you'd just fly home and then fly back. But on this, you, you'd you stay there the whole time. Uh, as a result, we, we all got to know each other very, very well. And there's a level of camaraderie that uh, that that's going to sit with us forever. Forever, Bradley Freeguard. <laughs> You're not getting away, heart. Bradley. It's <laughs> You're not getting away from him. <laughs> really? Forever? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, as, as I said, there's so many fans of this show. So maybe Bradley, you'll give us very quick. Just this is a hundred years on. So where just even where it kicks off, can you tell us like tell people who may, may be uh, excited to know what's going to happen, where we're at, and where your characters are at? More important. Sure. So um, it, it we kick off the show as you say. Um, Vikings Valhalla starts a hundred years after um, the original Vikings series finished, and it's. Uh, a uh, completely fresh and, uh, you know, a complete standalone show of its own. And you don't have to have watched Vikings at all to come in and enjoy the trip with uh, with us on, on the Vikings Valhalla longboat. But we, yes. we start um, with, um, there's there's great um, upheaval, shall we say, that, that happens in uh, Saxon England and... Uh, there's, uh, I'm not sure how much of this I'm allowed to actually say. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> say. If, I, if, I, if, I, if I butt in, the, the English are kicking up a fuzz. Yeah, the English are kicking up a fuzz. The English would just leave it alone. We'd be fine. We wouldn't have a show. But the yeah, English, but they have to uh, have a fuss. <laughs> But Johannes, well, there's, lots us, going on with, right? there's lots going on with the Vikings too. I mean, religion's a big thing in this, like paganism versus Christianity. And your character, like, he's definitely causing problems, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he in that regard? Like, he can't he tolerate just, pagans in this. Yeah, well, he just wants the love of Jesus to reach all. 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 So right. he's, he's very Everybody. adamant about that. <laughs> but uh, mainly the English, mainly the English are kicking up a fuss, even though there there is internal sort of... Uh, yeah. Ruckers as well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's right. Yeah, and they, uh, they're poking the Vikings' hornet nest, proverbially speaking, and that's never a good thing to do. No, they just can't leave it alone, can they? They can't. <laughs> do, they, do the costumes help then to get into character on a, on a show like this? Because they are... Do you know what I mean? I imagine even if I put on any, any of the costumes that feel like I'm a Viking, possibly, they're so good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll have to answer this one. I was a, I'm a very lucky boy in this show because um, the director of the first episode, Niels, he's um, uh, Danish and was absolutely adamant that Canute should look like a badass. And um, he was uh, very clear that he should have one hell of a suit of armour. And boy, did I get one. So when I put that thing on, you feel you feel ready for battle. <laughs> OK. And is there a lot of training then, Johannes, for like this? Obviously, this is Viking. So there is fight scenes and all the kind yeah. of stuff. Is there a lot of training that goes behind that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the stunt team we had is the same stunt team they had on the other show. And my God, do they know what they're doing? So they, you know, they bring you in for a couple of hours each time. And, you know, every day, if you have the week off, you're not flying home. You're in the sunshine and, you know, all the battles are carefully mapped out and, you know, you learn them like a dance routine and, uh, 
Well, the thing is, going back to the costumes, you learn the fight sequence just in comfortable clothing, and then nice. you get onto set and put on the armor, and then it's a whole different beast. And uh, yeah, it's it's. Um, I believe it's heavy that armor. Oh, it's very heavy, but you know you get through it. You know you, you can't can't cry about it. Yeah, is there ever any accidents and things like this? This is so many people wearing lots of heavy gear, and do you know what I mean? Who've just done training in this fight? Is it as everybody like was there all everybody left the set happy and nobody had to like have their thumb looked at or anything like this? Well, there, well, maybe their thumb. You'd have the odd little thumb, but no one was injured. Did we have an injury? I don't think we did. The the stunt team Brilliant. are very very. Uh, they're very good at what they do. Everything is really mapped out, carefully maneuvered and, and choreographed. So no, well, I don't... you obviously all know what you're doing as well. You see, that's what it is. Listen, well, thanks a million. Playing... <laughs> thanks a million. I've been wrapped. Uh, thanks a million. Yeah, congratulations on the show, guys. Cheers. Thanks, John. See you Thank later. You. Bye, bye, bye.